Amidst preparation for the upcoming governorship election in Kogi State, an independent online publication, the Nigeria Post, has held this year's annual lecture series to mark the 32nd anniversary of the state creation in August 1992 by the military government of General Ibrahim Babangida. This year's event with the team, Sustaining Peace of the Confluence, this house must not fall, focused on policies, peace, and unity with emphasis on the upcoming election. The event is a modern way of contributing to the creation of Kogi State, and also a medium to emphasize peace and unity as the only tool to a progressive state. Let's join our reporter for more detail. The ethnicities from within and outside Kogi, journalists, sub-government functionaries, businessmen, and women all honored the event. The organizer, publisher, and editor-in-chief, Nigeria Post, Abel Michael, commended the Kogi State government for creating a peaceful atmosphere made conducive for all scenery. I had successive the present administration who have been able to move Kogi State to what today is aptly referred to as a confluence of opportunities. Let me salute the efforts of this past leaders and the present administration for their dogged determination in ensuring that the state remains a work in progress. It seeks to critically look at politics, the unity of our people, our security and stability, with emphasis on the forthcoming November governorship election in the state. The choice of the topic for this course, distinguished compatriot, is informed by the need for us to contribute to the political development of our dear state to engender peace, cohesion, particularly in a heterogeneous confluence state. It is our earnest expectation that our gathering here today will prefer workable solutions to the challenges associated with the forthcoming election in ensuring peace, stability. The topic, Sustaining Peace of the Complex, delivered by an academician professor, Olayemi Akiwumi, represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academics, Professor M.S. Aldo, emphasized the forthcoming November governorship election in the state and finding workable solutions. Kogi State is well blessed with both human and natural resources. No wonder. The people and place now known as Kogi State was one of the economic hubs and life wire of the then northern region of Nigeria. The chairman of the occasion, Suleiman Babali, also represented called for unity among Kogites. There is every cause for us to celebrate and nurture this 30 years old and growing state of ours. Kogi State sub government officials at the event, who are also recipients of excellence awards for their various endeavors during their goodwill messages, commended the organizer. Assured the people of continuous upliftment programs by the government. Awards were conferred on 24 personalities for their good works in humanity. Commissioner for Education, Wemi Jones, who represented the state governor Yahya Abelo, encouraged Mark Abel for his balanced sense of reportage and for choosing such an apt theme in the sensitive period in Kogi State. He said, without unity and peace, progress is not certain and that justice is central. Wemi advocated peaceful coexistence as the people gazed ahead to electing the next governor. He spoke extensively on the achievements of the present administration as he called on the people to support the APC candidate for a continuation of good governance. Us, for the house not to fall, there must be sustainability of justice. Without justice, the house may likely collapse. But it is our prayer that this house called Kogi State will never collapse because I believe that we are not going to run away, we are not going to share the idea of justice. For a house not to collapse, the foundation of the house must be properly built. I am not an engineer, but I've been involved in build construction. And I know that the foundation is very, very fundamental. Governor Yahya Bello 
has laid a solid foundation based on equity, justice, and transparency. And this must be sustained if we ever hope to build a state that will be piloted and that will be able to sustain peace, unity, and progress. Also, urge you not to depart from your professional conduct. The state accountant general, Jubri Momo, the government house administration, Shaibo Richard, state coordinator, Akresal, Barrister Ladi Ahmed Jato, and the vice chancellor, Prince of Bakar Aldo University, Professor Mariette Tenuche, were honored for their numerous positive impacts in the services to the people and the state at large. The commander, the organizer. You know any other person than the governor of the state? Because without him, we cannot achieve all this. It's not a nice service award. It's not, a nice, it's not uh, an award that was paid for. We are happy that Kogi has been rated as one of the, the, the state that have been managing their finances in a transparent and accountable manner. We are serving and putting our best to justify and to not to, not to, not to disappoint His Excellency. We want him at the end of the day to, to be happy and now be proud of us that yes, he brought us on board and we have performed very well. I want to appreciate them for, for finding us worthy to come and take this award. I want to have and I will promise that we will try our best to make sure that uh, this award given to us is justified at our end. I just want to use the opportunity to appreciate the publisher of the Nigerian Post for this honor and for this recognition. And I see it as an encouragement as a motivation to do more, you know, to contribute my quota to Kogi State. I'm dedicating it to His Excellency, who has given me the opportunity to serve in Kogi, and to my great team, the Akresa team. I think, um, just as the Honorable Commissioner has said, we must commend the actions of His Excellency, the Governor of the State, in ensuring that there's equity. Once there's equity, you are likely to have peace and the uh, people are forced to be united. Shaibo Richard used the occasion to inform the people that the government plans for palliative to cushion the hardship, the removal of fuel subsidy post on the people. Uh, all the measures taken so f um, that have to be taken to cushion the effect uh, lies in the hands of uh, the state government and uh, I will not tell you that uh, this is what we are doing and this is what we are not doing. So the governor has actually taken it up and uh, the stakeholders have been called upon. When the time comes for you to unveil those plans, I think the media will be taking along. Other awardees are former FCT Minister Ramatu Tijani Aliu, State Security Advisor Jerry Umodara, Baba Ojonugwa Jerefo, Thompson Makalo Jr. among others. Joy Moses reporting for MLC TV.